Reddy, what happened? Huh? It's that guy, Reddy. Who, Reddy? Cheddar's the one to be pitied. I'm so mad, so mad. I just can't stay still. I must tell everyone about it. Terrible, 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 terrible. He's such a scatterbrain. He left without telling us the most important part. He was saying something about Cheddar. Let's go see. Listen, Reddy, what I want is a soft little rabbit. Peter Rabbit, that is. Catch him for me. Oh, my empty stomach. I'm starved. I know, I know, Granny. Tomorrow I'll catch Peter for sure, but the problem is how to catch him. Mm. I hear Lady Gentle Breeze's song. Hey, Lady Gentle Breeze, will you listen to one request? Of course, Reddy. Oh, hmm. What can we do about this problem, Johnny? Yeah. We seem to really have a problem on our hands. Johnny, for a while now, you've been grunting and groaning. About what? Groaning? About Reddy. Oh, Peter, you were here. I was looking for you. What is it, General Breeze? I have a message from Reddy. Oh? It's from Reddy. He said he found some tender budding carrots on Mr. Brown's farm and would like you to go with him first thing tomorrow morning at sunrise. Oh, budding carrots, you say? My favorite food. <gasps> You're not thinking of going, are you, Peter? Why? Be careful, it might be a trick of Reddy. I can't refuse a kind special invitation like that. I, uh... Then your answer is an okay? Yes! Tell him I'll be happy to accompany him tomorrow. <gasps> Johnny, speak to him. Stop, Peter. If he goes with Reddy, he'll be eaten up. Aren't you afraid? I'm not afraid. Bye! <laughs> wow, wonderful is just like Reddy said. Oh, delicious. 
delicious. Oh, what a delicious meal. that he could not meet you this morning by the bramble bush, but thinking about those tender budding carrots made him so hungry that he departed early this morning before daybreak. He said he is really grateful to you for telling him about those carrots. And those carrots were the most delicious he had ever eaten. Uh, Lady Gentle Breeze, would you tell Peter this? I'm glad the carrots were delicious. Tomorrow morning at daybreak, we'll meet again and I'll take you to the sweet clover field. Okay? I found it near the old walnut tree, all right? Yes, that's fine. I'll relay it immediately for you. Yeah. Next morning, Peter set out almost two hours before daybreak. Ah. Ah, that was delicious. No, better hurry home and get back to sleep. Let's definitely go. Oh, 
Okay, then it's a promise this time. So long. <laughs> Eddie is thinking, how shall I eat him? What do I do then now? Besides, I've already had my share of budding cabbage plants. Mm -hmm. What? What? I just couldn't wait till morning. So I went early last night. Thanks for telling me about the cabbage. Yes, Reddy, my heartfelt thanks. Mm -hmm. Don't 
but uh, don't mention it, Peter. It's all right, it's all right. But tell me, didn't you meet up with a terrible monster? I didn't meet it. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world so funny with you, Peter? Tell me, I want to laugh too. <laughs> the monster who frightened you. Mm -hmm. You won't believe it, Reddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was the old straw hat of Mr. Brown's son. <laughs> yeah. I was hiding under it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>